ഗവർണർ ആരിഫ് മുഹമ്മദ് ഖാൻ ഇപ്പോൾ മാധ്യമങ്ങളോട് സംസാരിക്കുകയാണ് ഐ ഡു നോട്ട് നോ വാട്ട് പെർപ്പോസൽ ഇസ് ദർ ലെജിസ്ലേറ്റീവ് അസംബ്ലി ഹാസ് ഫുൾ റൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് റൈറ്റ് മസ്റ്റ് ബി റെസ്പെക്ടഡ് ബട്ട് ഗവർണർസ് ഡ്യൂട്ടി ഇസ് ഓൾസോ ദർ ആൻഡ് യു ക്യാൻ ബി സർട്ടൻ ദാറ്റ് ഐ വിൽ നോട്ട് അലൗ a kind of selection where vice chancellors can be used to appoint relatives of those who are in power it is if if this is to the stay which has been issued in the matter of kannur university that stay is there because the complaints are that a person who had secured only was at the lowest rung as far as UGC ranking is concerned was being appointed so that you can be sure whatever bill is passed okay. whatever bill is passed as long as i am here the i will not allow the erosion of the autonomy of the university i shall not allow vice chancellors being used to appoint close relatives that is not going to happen anything more sir one thing uh, what about the chancellor's award the chancellor's award for 2021 is not has been declared hmm. why so uh, i will go and see why it's actually uh, a university where in one uh, season two papers have been repeated you want me to give award to them no it's about uh, the governor has appointed a council absolutely right all these facts were hidden from that council the university where you tell me what you will do if you were in my place in one season two papers examination papers of last year have been repeated and in one case answer sheets were provided to the candidates and in another case university wanted me to approve their proposal that degree can be withdrawn for the time up to 10 years and high court high court itself turned it down a high court said that the chancellor has rightly rejected this proposal how how will you if you were in my place how what you will do actually this university is i'm not going to tell you but this much i can tell you you can find out in which university instead of examination paper answer sheets were provided to the candidates but the council was appointed by governor it's okay but if you a governor was not providing the facts that was for the universities so that's the reason this this is a strong reason and then the, in this context this is also very important that they wanted to withdraw the degree of these students and the words which were used for which vice chancellor has expressed apologies later because i took exception i said what wrong this if your system fails and you are calling them they have received degree and for this moral delinquency moral delinquency i do not know what to say in malayalam moral delinquency their degrees should be withdrawn and they sought my approval i said what wrong they have done if your system has failed your system is not working you are not working and even if you wrongly give degree to somebody what what crime that person has committed how can you call them moral delinquent and then they who they were calling moral delinquents they are people like you from kerala youngsters you want them to go with the label of being morally delinquent i took exception how can you write this the lapse is on your part and you are blaming the those who have received the degree how can you use this language do you understand the meaning of this uh, these terms and then the vice chancellor officially in i mean in writing he said sorry 
governor uh, when you were in delhi you had stated that you will protect democracy and that, that is the reason why repromulgation no, no, no. of the 11 ordinances no. you will not sign uh, uh, with, after reading said. I have not said but that. But now you are stating that huh. you are happy with the proceedings that is happening. Why, uh, why, why? Uh, so uh, you do are. Do I have the. If I have. The protecting democracy, protecting constitution yes. means I will do my duties conscientiously. That does not mean that I show displeasure over some other body doing something and I show displeasure. No. I am responsible for the duties which are placed on me. I am not responsible for what other, these, they are, are to be respected, those bodies. How, how do you link the two? Yes, my duty is to protect, preserve and defend the constitution and law. And in doing so, I will see not only that the word of the law is uphold, upheld, but the spirit of the law is also upheld. Governor, as a chancellor of university, as a chancellor of university. I feel ashamed. But what, what more can I say? If, if, if university, when I am the chancellor, there are six candidates. One candidate, according to UGC ranking, has received more than 500 marks. And the last candidate has received only 100 and few marks. The 100 and few, one receiving 100 and few, he is being uh, considered to be appointed. Why? Because uh, that candidate is close or relative of, uh, I'm, I'm really surprised at this, uh, what I should call it, that everything has come into public knowledge, yet they are defending it. Even the High Court, I believe, I was not here, but even the High Court has, has stated, democracy, also means in, be you ever so high the law is above you we all are have to work under the law so you are asking me that you have said but you are not finding any problem with the uh, Correct. this is what you are saying yes i have no i have no business to find fault with the assembly assembly is a sovereign body but I have a duty that when whatever they do, it comes to me. I will measure it on the yardstick of the constitution and its spirit. They, they, nobody can force me. So expansion of a members of five people, you know, in power. Hmm? If it happens, five people part of the search, com uh, you know, search committee happens. to find a vice chancellor. Will, will, uh, will you be uh, okay with that? That's a question. No, no, but no, when, I have already told you that I do not really like answering questions which start with if. What if I shall, you can expect from me okay. that I shall, my own duty, I shall try to do it in a most diligent manner. Okay. And I will see at the whole thing hmm. from the angle of constitution, from the angle of law, and it is also, remember, any decision which is given by the Supreme Court also becomes law of the land. Supreme Court has already said in one of its rulings that the universities are bound to follow the uh, regulations of UGC. UGC. And regulation of UGC is that no one, no one who has anything to do with the university or college can be a member of the selection committee. And here you are telling me, newspapers are telling me that here the chairman of the higher education council, who is there only to interact with the universities, has been made member, not only member, convener they are proposing to make him. All these things are, cannot escape my attention. Remember it. Sir, in 2019, sir, you said in Delhi uh, there was a conspiracy to attack you, you know, when the uh, in actually, history congress is happening. Sir, when the history congress is happening, uh, there was a conspiracy. I, I will still, I will repeat it. Yeah. Conspiracy was hashed in Delhi okay. because they were so upset with my arguments on CAA. Okay. They had hashed a conspiracy. And vice chancellor was party to this conspiracy because they used the where was the need for them 
they are they all the time they are describing me although i was not even member of any political party at the time when i was appointed governor of kerala but they are using names of the organizations that i am i am serving their cause their purpose so where was the need for them to invite me to inaugurate the congress where was the need no they wanted me to come there and some of you have you seen those videos have you seen the video of 2019 you have seen i am standing first thing the program cannot be more than 60 minutes as per the protocol given by the rashtrapati bhavan and down below is written no departure from the approved program shall be allowed it is right now irfan habib was given only 2 minutes to speak he spoke for more than 30 minutes they made me sit there for more than 1 hour and 30 40 minutes listening to their speeches criticizing making all kind of allegations and then looking at me so they expected i thought they want me to reply to respond to their criticism as soon as governor arif mohammad khan madhyamangalode samsarikkukayirunnu sarvagalaasala chancellor aayi irikkunnathu thanikku naalakeyadai thonunnu ennana arif mohammad khan de vaakkukal kannur sarvagalaasalayile priya vargisinde rank pattigayumayi bandhapettana pradhigarana adodoppam thanne neemasabhayil inna avadaripicha sarvagalaasala bhedagathi billine kurichu adil tettilla neemasabhayku adu avadaripikkanulla adhigaram undu ennana governor pradhigarichathu subject committee ki vittathu mathramalle ullu ennu madhyathinte pradhigaranam verugiyana